I mean, it's is Floyd going to tra- Floyd going to start training him for him to get into some boxing? No, he wants to play. Well, I was, I'm clearly for biased. the Ravens. Yeah, no one's going to sign him ever again, right? I, you know, if oh, no. this is going to sound absurd. Okay, this is going to sound absurd. What's coming out of my mouth right now? And I know people are going to say, "Oh, just saying this for takes or whatever." <laughs> just saying this for once again, I'm not doing that. If there's any quarterback <laughs> that he could right, mm-hmm. he, and I don't want any quarterback that could relate to him and understand and maybe talk to him when he is fucking up or doing something like, hey, th- like we can't do it. Lamar Jackson would be the fucking guy, right? His cousin's on the team. Uh-huh. They're from the same area. They're both dialed in. They're both still dialed into the same area. I assume a lot of same OGs, a lot of same people around. I assumed he was going to end up at Baltimore, what was it, I think, before he went to Tampa. Yeah. But, but has it gotten to the point where it is so much – that even they won't be able to, even though Lamar Jackson has already hinted at it with a tweet. And, you know, every from my particular standpoint, just because it didn't work with Ben Roethlisberger, Derek Carr, Tom Brady, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I do not believe that that means it won't work with Lamar Jackson in the Baltimore Ravens. I honestly believe that. But there is a large notion that... And we were even in that at one point. Now, it has changed because he has done interviews and explained himself. And I think there has been a little bit of a narrative shift as opposed to a full... Because uh, they're saying that the Bucks were saying it was a mental breakdown, but a lot of people were saying that. Because anybody that judged it or talked about it was being accused of talking about somebody that isn't mentally healthy. Like, that was a real thing that was help- or happening. So everybody thought this guy will never get it, that he has to take care of himself and manage himself off the field because he is an incredible player, but he seems to be, you know, whatever the case going. And then he's come out and been like, no, like, this is how I felt. This is why I felt it. At least he's given a reason for why he did what he did, even though it was so absurd. And I don't think there's, I don't think there's 30, 32 teams that would sign. No, I don't think there's four teams that could sign him. I honestly believe that if a team was to sign him, and there's a lot that has to go into this, he's suing a fucking team right now. So (laughs) the NFL doesn't play well whenever that's happening. I mean, that is not something the NFL has been known to be like, yeah, we'll forget about what you did there and move on. But is Lamar Jackson not the guy that he could potentially relate to most, get back into this thing, compete alongside, and maybe be the three for 26 yards in the first half? The game he left before could that not happen? Am I am I just living in a fairy tale land right now, not thinking about all of the things that have happened? No, I mean it's absolutely like it's a possibility. I guess I don't know. It depends on if an owner wants to take him on, or the owner and GM and coaches. And now John Harbaugh as well is known to be like a disciplined guy. He has control of the team. Maybe he would work well with AB. I don't know. It like okay, they just have to weigh. Do we like the production that this guy has in the field? can we find a way to make an environment to where everything stays positive and it doesn't blow up in the end? Like that's all you, we got to see if somebody's willing to take a shot. And if this doesn't, well, we know he's going to burn it down with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for someone to take a chance. I think. Let's not forget his cousin, Hollywood Brown, who's there was not yeah. happy during the season when he wasn't getting maybe the targets or whatever that, that he wanted. Was that this season or last season? Last season, last season, never last using season. the soldiers. The dogs one? Soldiers. Yeah, it was last yeah. season, yeah. I think. I don't think that was this Who was season. AB boys with? Do you know who he's, like, tight with, like, guys in the league that he plays with? I'd, I'd love to know, like, what they think about this whole situation. Well, I, that photo of him, his cousin, and Lamar, I assume that's down in South Florida. Yeah, Lev Bell commented on his uh, IG right after that whole entire blow-up. Boy, I don't know. I mean... The amount of people that would have to okay that signing. There, yeah, the, there, there would definitely be too much com- – I, I don't know. It would – in my eyes, theoretically, the locker room is the place where, you know, that type of thing should be kind of handled. The locker room, hey, our culture is strong enough for somebody who may be – at other places, hasn't gotten along, but our locker room, he'll be able to buy it. But if we, it blew up with Tom Brady, if it blew up with Tom Brady, who yeah. is a guy that has been fighting for him since the beginning, and Tom just – it got to the point where Tom can't – Tom can't stop him. Tom's out there in the huddle, and A.B.'s taking his shirt off and running down the, the end zone. Like, Tom can't come down and go grab him, give him a hug. Come on, man. Come on back in. Like, that's not going to work. So what did. makes people think it'll work somewhere else? Well, I'm just thinking, like, maybe Lamar and Hollywood and them speak the yeah. same language. We speak. I hope he does. I hope he gets back in the league. I love watching a dude play football. I know all the other stuff that goes with it. I just enjoy watching the Like, that route so he ran good. that you talked about in the game, Pat, where he – that comeback, like, the DB fell back like 15 yards. The dude was selling the, the deep route so hard. It was awesome. Yeah, he stemmed it, too. His post, 
and then it was fade, and then it was watching a- him run routes, like watching him do one on ones. When they show a lot of clips of that from when he was in Pittsburgh and other places during camp, like that's a lot of fun, man. That dude is so so sudden with his movements and just yeah, it's in little subtle, like how he works into and works off the leverage. It's cool to see. But he does have that, you know. You disrespect me. All right. It's great. It's a great thing on the field. I concur. And I enjoy it. I enjoy that a lot, but it feels like the kabooms of those have have oh. been really big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have been really big every single time. There has to be well, some and, NFL teams licking their lips, though, like, oh, we could get this guy. I don't think so. See, well, and to, to your I, point, I, like, I once think. you sue a team for defamation, yeah. isn't that possible? Like, hey, you go against the shield. Like, I, I'm not saying they can, like, blackball him, but, like, Goodell Why would an be, owner take a chance then? Yeah, Goodell's like, hey, up. this guy's fucking persona non grata. Like, he's trying to sue the league. And Fuck I, this guy. And I don't want to... You know, like I don't want to say this, but it's real. Once you get considered like a, like a distraction, once you get labeled a distraction, and the distraction potentially outweighs what they think they need for your team to win, for a team to win, it's you hear every coach say it's hard enough to win the NFL already. It's hard enough to win the NFL already. But once you get that label on you, especially with how the coaching ranks are and how the scouting ranks are. I mean, it's tough to get it off you. But if you're Antonio Brown, and this is Zito's point, I guess, like you're talking about one of the like mm-hmm. yeah. he's always open. The guy is all and in a league that all the thing that matters to a lot of people is we just need to win games. Okay. What do we need? We just need to win games. Who do we do it with? Whoever the fuck we need to win games. What's the worst that could happen? They could take their pads off, <laughs> throw, <laughs> throw them, down. throw them at somebody, and then leave. It was like, well, that won't happen. That won't it had already happened, won't happen again. It's like I don't know. Time will tell, I guess. But he's ramping up to come back in there. And uh, no, he would never. Like, us even mentioning another league would be so disrespectful yeah. to the football player that Antonio Brown is. But I don't think – I don't know at the NFL, man. Isn't it crazy? Because we're actually having this conversation because of how good he is at football. Yeah. Well, think if you're the, the, the Bucks ownership and everyone there is like, oh, okay, great. Now we have to deal with all of this. Like, will another owner – take him on thinking like it could blow up like this. I don't know. I hope someone does take a chance. I want to see him play. I want to see what happens. So Robert Kraft and he, it did not end well. Well, that was, I mean, yeah. he, it's not like he did anything wrong at New England. It was previous <laughs> allegations. No, but I'm saying between him and Kraft afterwards. Yeah. No, it did not. And then now he's suing the Glazer family. Not Jay. Not Jay. Not Jay.